Hey everybody, thanks for joining White Dog Outdoors. I'm taking my horn back out for the first time today. Uh, I'm taking advantage of a little bit of time. My wife and the Girl Scouts are, uh, are nearby for a camping trip. Had to come up and help them out, so I decided to bring my horn back and try out an Adirondack pond. It's a pond I've heard of, never been here, never tried it. Um, this is gonna be my first foray really into uh, pond fishing in many, many years. So uh, beautiful little pond and uh, we're gonna give it a shot today. I have no idea what it's gonna be like. I know there's supposed to be trout in here. I do see some fish rising pretty early. Um, it's about midday, but uh, it's been really calm. The wind's starting to kick up now, but we're just getting launched and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I, this is, I'm really excited to just have the boat out. Um, I don't have high expectations for my first trip, but who knows, let's see what we do. I think I could take this. Paddling, beautiful areas, beautiful water. I could definitely take this on a regular basis. Oh, that's bottom. Gonna get hung up with these lake clears. This day is not going so well for me. Not going well for me so far. I, sh I did not bring the right stuff. I should have brought my fly rod. That's ridiculous. I just want to provide a little bit of an update. So I did. I ended up running into somebody. Uh, talked to him for like a half an hour. Um, really enjoyable to talk to him. He gave me a few tips. But uh, um, most of the fish apparently are in shallow. Um, really, just a couple of feet of water. And I did not bring my fly rod. Um, ideally, the fly rod would have been perfect today. Uh, troll with the fly rod with a streamer just a, a little bit down. Uh, I don't have that set up. I've been trying the Lake Clear Wobbler, um, which is, you know, this guy, and then you trail behind it. And this is a um, artificial only stream. So just trying a streamer in behind that. And um, what I'm finding is uh, in the areas where it's shallower, where supposedly the fish are, I'm hanging up and uh, this thing's getting too deep and I'm, I'm having to go too fast to keep it shallow. Um, Outside of having the fly rod, I decided to, uh, I, I cast around a little bit and uh, with some spoons and stuff. I just didn't like, I was having to reel way too fast. Um, so I think what I'm doing here, they do have some Rapalas here. And um, these will allow me to get down to a similar depth as the streamers would. And um, this is a suspending one. So once I get it down to depth, it'll stay there. It won't float back up. Um, but uh, hopefully this is going to allow me to get in the right depth range and not go too fast. I want to be able to go slow. So um, we're going to give this a shot now. The uh, breeze has kicked up a little bit. I've had to fight the wind a little bit, but uh, pretty cool place. Uh, I'm hoping I can do a little bit better in terms of dialing these fish in. You know, it's been a bit of a struggle, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, you know, I kind of expected that being that... Um, you know, it's new water, um, a new experience for me overall, something I haven't done in forever. 
And so uh, there's a lot of figuring out to do, but uh, I'm gonna change methods up, see if I can adapt, see if I can find some fish. Not ideal of like what I want to do here, but uh, gotta adapt, see if we can figure this out. This is an area where the lake clear would do a little bit better because it's deeper. There, we're coming up now. One of the cool things about this Garmin is that it actually has a little mile per hour on here. So uh, you can actually see how fast I'm drifting for when I'm trolling. So, uh, you know, if I get up to like a mile an hour, it seems to be a little fast for the, uh, for the lake clear. I'm trying to keep it somewhere between, you know, half a mile an hour and like, you know, seven tenths of a mile an hour or whatever. I just want it plopping along, not making too, too much, uh, too much speed here. We're definitely coming up in uh, in uh, depth here, though. We were down in 25 feet. We're coming back up. So uh, anyway, just keep them plodding along. See, we're down to zero now. The winds we hit a spot where the wind stopped. So I got to get out my paddle and paddle here. Hey everybody, I'm gonna call it a day from this Adirondack Pond. Um, it did have a good day, but I didn't connect with any fish. I, I, I had fish that hit and I, I missed them. Um, I, I missed one on a wobbler. Um, and then I have missed several that were just around these islands. I was casting spoons and stuff. My spoons were too big. And what I found out is that I really didn't bring all of the right gear. Um, I brought all spinning stuff and I really wish I brought fly stuff. There was a lot of dry fly action going on. Um, and like a merger type stuff happening and then um, uh, the fish were shallow enough that it would have been much better if I had brought fly rods to troll streamers in shallow. Um, so I spent a lot of my time out a little bit deeper because I didn't have the, the stuff to go as shallow. I tried casting, you know, I just I still didn't have small enough lures. Um, but uh, you know, it was a good day on the water. I'm glad I got out. The, the setup of the boat, um, really happy with the boat itself. Um, the boat was awesome, the setup was awesome, the sonar was really key, really, really love that. Um, so everything was good. Um, you know, there was, I was around fish all day, I just, in particular, I didn't connect. So, um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Hopefully we'll have some better adventures coming, um, in the Hornbeck. But, uh, a little disappointed, not too disappointed. So, anyway. Thanks for joining us. If you guys like what we're doing, definitely subscribe and uh, we'll see you for the next adventure.